What's up Aquarius? It's your girl BU and I'm back with your video. This is my new YouTube channel so I would like if you would just go ahead and press, press that like button and subscribe and if this resonates with you uh, leave a comment down below and let me know. Um, cause, you know because I'm an Aquarius myself. Hey. So anyway um, yeah I'm a uh, Spirit called me to do this. You know, we don't like being in front on the spotlight, so I am nervous as hell. But anyway, um, but we gonna get it through. I'm gonna get this. I'm the more I do it, the better you already know, the better I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get this. But anyway, um, so anywho, okay, I'm only doing love messages and no reversals, and yeah, that's it. So let's get to your reading. So, anywho, okay, Aquarius. All right, uh it seems as though uh, somebody is somebody is either staying with you or want to stay with you and this person is not what they claim to be they very nice in your face they're very nice in your face very very sweet very gentle very very gentleman like she's very she's very dainty and fancy or whatever take take the energies however they go but um behind your back uh yeah they kind of stabbing you in your back and talking shit about you to other people you know and but you will never know not about how they all smiling in your face but anyway uh either you're living with this person now or you may get a message, a text message, or whatever type of message from this person. That always when they come around, they bring chaos energy. They deplete your energy. You know, every time you're around them, they deplete your energy. They brought your house down. If y'all used to stay together before, they brought you down. They brought your house down. Um... This person likes to get around other low, other low, other other low vibrational energies and talk about you. You know, it's just not a loyal person at all. They weren't loyal at all. You thought they were loyal, but they was far from loyal. No, nah, they act loyal, but you know. But I'm pretty sure it was times where you you knew they they they're not loyal. They just know how to act real good. Anyway. So, that's for some of you. You may get a, a message that, you know, this person may want to come back and stay with you. Oh, hell no. Just know that, yeah, they, they're still not good people. They still have that, you know, low vibrational in, energy. And they will bring your house down. Um, yeah. So, don't believe anything they say when they leave you this message or if you already have this person in your house you need to look out now immediately you need to remove that person from your house because they're only gonna bring your house down with that type of energy and you know Aquarius is a cool people you know we cool people we don't we don't like that you know what I'm saying we don't play that we don't like that we don't bother nobody and we damn sure don't go other places and you know spew that type of energy you know so we don't like when people come into our home and do that so, yeah, you need to, you know, remove that immediately, you know. There is no, you know, being cool with that, you know. They're already smiling in your face. They've been, there's no telling how long they've been doing that and telling other folks and talking to, talking about you to other people. There's no long, there's no telling how long they've been doing that. So, it's time just to get that, nip that in the bud. Yeah, because these people aren't loyal. So, anyway, I, try, um, I drew three cards and <clears throat> the first one is... Eurefia, Eurefia, honor yourself, and let's see what it says. The girl of Eurefia, Eunia, not Eurefia. Wait a minute, that's the wrong one, my bad. What's the wrong one? I'm about to say, okay, wait a minute. It doesn't seem like that. Okay, the next page. The white goddess with the feathered snake, swan countenance, represents the sacred fusion of air and earth. Divine inspiration bonded with earthly tangibility. There is a sen sensual aspect to this card. It is now your duty to honor your physical self in an exalted way. Have you been abusing your body, poor eating, e excesses, 
of toxic substances and dragging yourself through workouts you don't enjoy is punishing, not celebrating yourself. Don't put anything in your body that is not worthy of your goddess status. Quality over quantity is the key at this time. Awaken to your sacred self. Be selective about who you allow in your physical proximity to you. It matters of sex and sex sensuality. Do not share your sacred self with someone who is not worthy of you or do, does not treat you in an honorable and respectful way. The woman in the urethra holds her hands gently and seductively over her heart as she can, considers to bless magnificence of her reality. She is quiet and reflective. This is a deep inner comprehension not bound by society's laws and others opinions inside she is infinite and her physical form is the gateway yes you are worthy and you and, and but you're not worthy of someone disrespecting you no those times are up we're not having that we're not having none of that you know so if you would want if you with that no you gotta go you know what i'm saying we don't have time for that shit i'm sorry we don't have time for that you know only we only want people of our higher selves that's it. But first, we need to work on the things that, you know, make us, that allow us to keep tracking these low vibrational beings. There's something with care ourselves first that we need to take care of. And then, once we take care of ourselves first, the high vibrational energies will start, you know, you know, hitting you. Hitting you like it ain't nothing, you know? Okay. Um, the next card I uh, pulled was Love Yourself First. Your self-esteem makes you more romantically attractive. And let's see what it says. If you desire more romance, first look at yourself in a caring and non-critical way, of course. The more you love who you are, the greater your capacity to feel loved by others. This means trusting yourself to take good care of you. And it may entail becoming more assertive. Don't worry, you can still be very lovable while affirming your boundaries. Perhaps this means spending time alone instead of in a relationship. Mm -hmm. During this period, you can delve into introspection to understand the patterns of your life, love life. Ultimately, you can take responsibility for attracting and, and agreeing to every relationship you've had. To heal your heart, find the blessings and lessons you gain from each one. For instance, have becoming stronger, more independent, and more patient as a result of your prior partnerships. If so, let everything else from the past go except the lessons and the love. This card emphasizes that the importance of loving yourself first, especially as, as you prepare for your next relationship or heal the one you're in. As you gain self-respect, you will become attracting and more loving people into your life this will lead to healthy relationships and romances based on mutual respect you know i just said that i just said all that yeah all, all that what she said you know it's time to go we don't have time for that we don't, we don't have time for that mm -mm. and the next last card i pulled what and it was it was a cancer so some of you may be dealing with a cancer Maybe a cancer that's trying to, that you're, you know, involved with or that's trying to come back into your life. But don't allow them to do that. If they're already gone, let, let him stay. He's an ex for a reason. They're an ex for a reason, If they're even if they're not a cancer. These people are exes for a reason. And if they're not exes, they need to be today. Okay. So, um, yeah. Um. Let's see what the books say about that. The sensitive energy of water finds strength and direction through the cardinal. Take charge. Quality, quality and reminds you that emotional intelligence plays a huge role in shaping relationship and life. The key phase, I feel, means the motivation comes from your emotions. In this situation, ask, ask what feels right. Take the emotional temperature of the situation before acting. Feelings are complicated things. We often confuse our actual emotions with the stories we tell ourselves about those emotions. Those stories can distract us from the actual feeling. Avoid emotional manipulation of yourself and others. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
okay? I, I don't need to say more. You just, just said, said it all in, in the book. It's just, just all in it. Oh, yeah, we understand it. We get it. We understand. We get it. We got it. We know what we need to do. And the ones that already did it, kudos to you. Don't go back. Don't go back to the rat. Don't go back. You're already gone. Mm -mm, don't come back because he will bring you down. He's not coming loyal. Stand your ground. Do what you've been doing. Just no. Mm -mm, it's time to go. You don't have to be mean about it, but no, it's, you don't need to be messing with that again. That's for sure. Well, okay. Um, that's the end of my reading. Now, if you like it or if it resonated just a little bit, just leave me a comment down below. And uh, until the next video, thank you and like, share, and subscribe, please. Much love, Aquas. Peace.